Hello everybody, Brandon Smith and Richard Buckley here with a new foot transfer market guide for you. Our previous video covered techniques to help you when buying new players for your squad, but what about strategies to help when selling those players that you no longer need in your foot roster? Yes, Brandon, it's all about understanding how and when to sell them or if you should just hold on to them and see the profits rise. Much like when you're buying players, selling is also about research and patience, right Richard? It is indeed, Brandon. It's all about knowing when things are gonna be released. If there's an upcoming promo, don't sell because players are gonna be down. If the player's not been in a promo recently, for example, Virgil van Dijk, he's injured in real life, therefore he's not gonna be getting any special foot items, meaning that his price is declining because that's the best Virgil van Dijk that we're gonna see all year until team of the year or potentially another promo. So his price is pretty much flatlined. It's all about finding out what's meta as well. For example, rule breakers Almeric Laporte, he is about 500,000 coins and has kept his price all year long. So he would be a good player to sell because there's no real risk involved. It's a risk and reward business selling players. But Richard, didn't you suggest in our previous video about the possibility of making more coins when selling players on a certain day? Absolutely, Brandon. The seven day FIFA cycle is exactly the same as buying and selling. You want to buy players on the Monday when they're at their cheapest, but if you're wanting to make profit on your players, you want to sell them on the Thursday. Also, you can see here, chemistry styles are very important. I got an extra 500 coins through selling my Frankie de Jong with a shadow on him than I would than selling him on a regular basic chemistry style. So if you want that extra little bit of coins, you want that extra juice out of the orange, make sure you add chemistry styles to your players. But Brandon, some players don't even need to be sold on FIFA 21. Some players are better kept in your club for SBCs. Also, another quick tip, players will go out of packs. Couple for you right now, Nicolas Otamendi, the Man City version, and also Hulk, the Brazilian right winger. If those players are in your club, do not sell. They are no longer in packs, meaning that they are a limited value player. There's only so many. Again, do your research, be patient, don't just see coins and think you want them straight away, because patience is a virtue. There is always 5% tax on your sales. So always take that into consideration when selling players on. Again, that's just our tips on selling your foot items on the transfer market. We've covered when to sell, when not to sell, and even provided you with a few tips and tricks to get those extra FIFA coins out of those star players. And as always, do get in touch via social media or in the YouTube comments of any questions or queries you have about selling on the FIFA transfer market. Station.